Hello YouTube, I'm Tom and Brad and in this video I'm taking a look at a couple of mods that work well together and are perfect for those of you that want to chill out a little bit between chopping up dead people. <laughs> The mods are Telrix Fishing version 2 and Ragsy 2145's Boating mod. Links are in the description so you can download and try these yourself. You don't need both if you just want to fish or if you just want to boat, use one or the other. If you need more details on how to install the mods, check the first episode of Nomad vs Wanderers, but just make sure you drag the folder that contains the config folder into your mods folder. Telerix Fishing Mod 2 allows you to craft a fishing rod or a pole, as it's called here, use bait, catch various types of fish or miscellaneous objects, and also adds additional recipes for fish-related food. Bragzy 2145's Boating Mod adds the ability to craft two different types of boat. They have storage space, both are powered by petrol engines that need fuel, and these boats can be used on lakes, rivers, or the map border water. Let's start with the fishing mod. To craft the pole, you need a reel and a hook, and they can be crafted in your backpack. The reel is made from a sewing kit, three iron, five wood, and four polymers. The hook is three lead fishing weights and two iron. And once you have the reel and the hook, you can combine these with 10 wood to make the pole. Now you don't need bait to start fishing, but the different types of bait increase your chance of catching something sooner. Fishing without bait can take a long time. In order to catch bait, you'll need a net, which is made from five iron pipe, one sewing kit, 13 cloth, and five wood. To use the net, you need to equip it. Crouch and listen carefully for the sound of chirping insects. You must crouch to be able to hear the bait. Now this can take quite a while, but as you get closer to the bait, the sound gets louder. Eventually you'll see the bait, then smack it over the head with your net. Get it? Yes! No, nope, rabbits don't work. To apply the bait to your rod, you need to eat the bait yourself, where at which point you'll see a buff appear at the lower left of your screen, which varies depending on the type of bait you have. Worms are also available as bait and can be found simply by digging. However, they only last for roughly one catch and don't give you a very high buff. I found the butterflies easier to spot and give a pretty high buff. To increase your chance of finding bait, you can level up living off the land and you can use the Animal Tracker perk to get yourself a superhuman insect radar heads up display. <laughs> Got him. To start fishing, you either need to be able to stand partially in the water enough so that your character is at least 5% wet or you can craft a fishing chair that you can place anywhere near the water, which you must stand on. This can be used on the shore or on a jetty. Now you build a cast your line with the left mouse button and wait a few moments. Eventually, the screen will start swinging and the sound of splashing water can be heard. And at this point, get your fastest finger ready to mash the F button as quickly as you can until the counter on the left hits 100. If you're too slow, you lose the fish. You have a chance of catching fish, a crab, seaweed, or an old boot, amongst other things. And all of these things, including the fish, depend on the time of day or the biome that you're in. So we've caught ourselves a crappy fish. And let's get a fire down and see if we can cook this thing up. So I can make a crappy fillet as long as I have a, a, at least a bone knife. I've equipped the bone knife. I've got the crappy fish in my inventory. So I'm going to click on craft and we will get two fillets. Now, if we click on the fillet, we can have a look at the recipes. And from that, we can make a grilled fish fillet. So to make the crappy fillet, we need a campfire and it needs to have a grill in place. And the actual grilled fish fillet uses the crappy fillet and some animal fat. So let's cook one up. 
and there we go, our grilled fish fillet. So what do we get in terms of food benefits from a fish fillet, which has taken us a little while to catch? Well, if we compare that to the normal charred meat, you can see that the charred meat is actually worth a bit more in terms of food and health, and it gives you a plus 10 stamina bonus. However, the charred meat also depletes your water by five. Comparing it to normal grilled meat, we can see it's not as good. The grilled meat has plus three food, plus three health, and also a stamina bonus of 10. The boiled meat also plus three, but has a health plus 13, and the stamina bonus of 10. So we're not getting a lot from the grilled fish fillet. So here's a few of the fish related things we can make with this mod. We've got the fried catfish, the crab cake, the crappy cake, and grilled octopus. If you're lucky enough to be wandering in the wasteland through the day and try a spot of fishing, you might catch yourself an octopus. Okay, let's take a look at the boat options. If we go to the tab menu, and uh, we've got two boats we can choose from. There's the dinghy and the flat bottom boat. They both are very similar to construct. They both take the engine, duct tape, and mechanical parts. The dinghy requiring scrap polymers, 80 of those, and 30 leather. And the flat bottom board is very similar, except that that requires uh, forged iron instead of polymers, and wood, 500 wood as well, instead of the leather. To craft these, you need to use a workbench. Let's start with the dinghy. Both of the boats will accept mods, the cosmetic mod, the fuel saver and the tank size, but not the vehicle speed mod or the lights. Both boats support Telerik's fishing mod, however you need to make sure that your boat is completely stationary before you start fishing, otherwise it can disappear from under you. You can pick up a boat if you sink it, as long as the inventory is empty, and then when you return to shore, you can replace the boat and go sailing again. In order to launch the boat, you need some flat ground. Launching it from here is no good because you can't drag it down to the water. So what's recommended to do is to create a little platform just under the surface of the water. Something like that should do. Let's grab the boat and there we go. We can see we can just place that nicely on there. And then of course it does need filling with fuel. There we go. And let's just check. We've got a lovely red color. You can add whatever color you like. Let's try the green one. We'll jump in it. Oh, very stylish. Look at that. Look at the way I'm sitting. <laughs> okay, W and S for forwards and slow down. And then our steering with the A and D. And the mouse for moving your view. And off we go. Look at that. It's exciting. I think shift gives you a little boost. It's hard to tell. And when we're ready to head home, I'll just carefully bring it into the side. Oh, it's a bit steep. And that'll do. Is that okay? I think that's okay. Can I get back in that all right? Have a look. Oh, I think I might be... Hmm. Yeah, we're letting a little bit of water in there, but we're okay. We're all right. It's fine. Uh, I can just... Oh, it's getting away. Oh, hang on, hang on. There we go. Yeah, you can pick it up if the inventory is empty. There we go, and we can place it back back down on a flat surface so we can reuse the boat. All right, that's the dinghy. Let's change over to the flat bottom boat. I think it's stopped. So if I get out, I can just check. Yeah, it's not moving. I'm not moving, so we're fine. So from here, we can go fishing. So the boat acts a bit like the chair when you're fishing on the dock. So we can just pull up the fishing rod and uh, cast it in there. We'll see what we get. Feels like I'm moving. Am I moving? Oh, we got something. Hang on, I'm in the wrong view. Hit F, hit F really quick. Mash the F as hard as you can. Oh, got it, got it. What did I get? I got a, a lucky coin. Wow, look at that, a lucky coin. That's pretty cool. We do the lucky coin. How lucky do you have to be to reel in a coin with a hook? Hmm. Let's try the uh, jetty out if I can just moor up with the jetty. Turn it around sideways. Can you do that? Hmm. Don't think you can. Whoops. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sinking. That's not quite right. It's not what I was looking at. Anyway, that might do. We're in. We're all right. Nope. Oh, hang on. 
I'm still, am I still in the boat? I'm, oh, the boat's, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, the boat's getting away. Hang on a sec. Uh, let's try that. There we go. Yeah, it's fine. Pick that up. Morning, ma'am. Lovely day. Want to go on the boat with me? Oh, Martha. Damn it. What, do you want to ride? Come on then, jump in, quick. Oh! Oh, deep laceration. Oh, hell. There's not sharks with this mod, is there? Oh, I think... Ah! Well, that was Telerix Fishing Mod version 2, followed up with a little bit of Ragsy 2145's boat mod. Both good fun, and if you like to chill out in a game, why not give them a try? Please give the video a like, I'd really appreciate that. And if you did like the video, then check out my channel because there's other stuff there that you will also like. I've been Tallman Brad. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.